Thanks for taking a minute to check out this video preview. In this video, we're going to talk about the math sequence as well as what the daily routine will look like if you were using this math intervention with your students. The sequence is designed to go from the first week of school all the way until the end of the year. However, depending on the ability of your students, I've included a guide so that you could figure out where your students need to start. You can see that the beginning of the year focuses on without regrouping, where the end of the year focuses on regrouping. All of the numbers in this intervention are for two digit by two digit addition and subtraction. In the book, every single day will look very similar. You'll have computation on the left-hand side, and you'll have word problems, patterns, and number puzzles on the right-hand side. So with these, for the majority of the weeks, it will either be all addition or all subtraction. But there are some weeks with mixed addition and subtraction because I think it's important for students to get used to watching for those symbols to know, is our number getting bigger? or is our number getting smaller? As far as the word problems go, every single day of the week, it's the same word problem. But I find that with my students, they struggle to even visualize the problem, much less know whether we're supposed to be adding or subtracting and doing the computation. So on Monday, we look for the key word or the key words that are in the problem, and we write those down. So in this problem, it's in all. We might also talk about words like and, because and is important to this word problem as well. We'll also talk about skip counting or number patterns. So I find that my students really, really struggle to see these number patterns, but it's so important, especially when we move on to multiplication and more complicated things. So I think it's important to begin using a hundreds chart to show students the pattern, see if they can discover the pattern on their own, Maybe we work together to count by twos, and then when we get to 10, 12, 14, we would fill in 16, 18, 20, and so on. For our number puzzles, I think that these are just as important as well because some of those things that cause them difficulty are things that really they could be able to do mentally if they understood what they were supposed to be doing. So with this, it's kind of like we stole a piece of the hundreds chart. For 11, 10 less would just be one. 10 more would be 21. And I find that this is very, very difficult for my students to do at first, but later they see the pattern and they begin understanding that 10 more and 10 less is quite easy once I know what I'm doing. And one less and one more is even easier once I know what I'm supposed to do. Every day is very similar. On day two, we'll be working to draw a picture. Now, these numbers are rather large, so we're not talking about drawing a picture of five circles plus two circles. I like to talk about drawing base 10 cubes or finding ways to make it easier so that their pictures are quick. We don't have to spend 20 minutes drawing a picture of 15 costumes and 14 costumes. We can make it simple with base 10 blocks or lines and X's, whatever you feel most comfortable with your students. And again, we would do number patterns and number puzzles. On the third day, we work on just writing an equation for the word problem. So really being able to think through, okay, well, on Monday we talked about we're going to be adding, so we're going to have 14 plus 15. Now, for my students, I only have about 20 minutes for math, so I don't work on solving the problem because I just need to get through the whole routine somewhat quickly. So on the following day, then we work on solving our equation. And again, number patterns, number puzzles, and as always, computation. And on the last day, I find that part, part, whole is really difficult, but can really help kids to see a problem or when they experience a word problem in the future, know, oh, well, okay, I know one part. I know the other part. Oh, so I'm adding these two together. 
And in later weeks when we work on subtraction, we can see, oh, I do know the whole amount, but I only know one part. That means I have to subtract. So it's a great way for kids to just continually be exposed to addition and subtraction and visualizing those problems and breaking it down so that later when maybe they're taking a test or they see something like this in a center in their classroom, they can start to see what do they know and what do they not know to other word problems. For me, this book is designed to be one week, Monday through Friday. However, I know that things happen and we don't always have one whole week, Monday through Friday with no interruptions. So let's say it's a Thursday and you don't get to see your kids, then guess what? On Friday, you can hop in with day four. It's okay, don't feel like Monday has to be day one. Tuesday has to be day two. Things will happen to disrupt your normal routine and that's okay. This intervention is designed to be used whenever and however you can fit it into your instruction. Let me know if you have any questions in the TPT Q&A section of this product.